Um, my beautiful butterflies and my beauties. I am here going to be showing you how I cook my grape juice chicken and how I make my corn. So if that interests you, stay tuned and let's get into this video. So I have my crock pot. Mine is the Elite Brusto. I have it set for poultry and it'll take 20 minutes. I normally do that twice. Here is the chicken. And I'll show you how I do my corn. So this is the chicken, what it looks like. And I'm using a clean hand. So you take the chicken. You put it in here. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to just take half of the uh, mandarin oranges. I will get some more. And then I'm going to take the juice of this. And I'm going to pour it in here. I'm going to add some more um, juice. Um, hold on. Let me get this and be right back. Okay, guys. So I did put a little bit of water in here. I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning to get that nice and flavored. And I did wash my hands, so... For those who think I'm cross-contaminating, I am not. Then some more of the beer chicken. Canned chicken. Just like that. And you want to make sure that it is nice and seasoned. I'm going to take some oranges. The mandarin oranges. Put them in like that. To give it like an orangey flavor. Do one at a time. Now this is the first time I've used mandarin oranges. Okay. Let me um, get the dill and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's going to look like that. I'm going to shut the lid, lock it, like I said I already have it on poultry, I don't know how well you can see that, it's on poultry, it says 20 minutes, I normally do it twice, and then it should be done, so we're going to start that, and it will, um, well why didn't it do that, <laughs> okay let's try this again, and then you, Press start, and this means it's going to come up to pressure. Now, I have some corn here. Yeah, it may not look good, but this is really good corn. And let me show you how I make it. Okay, guys, here is the corn. Yes, it looks frostbite, but believe me, it will taste really good after I get done with it. I'm going to take some water. Put it in there. Then I'm going to take the Kinder's Master Salt, Garlic, Sea Salt, and Butter seasoning. I'm going to put it all on here. I'm going to turn it. And yes, you would add more of this when it gets done. But I'm just making sure it's all nice and seasoned. And this stuff is really good on corn. So next, I'm going to get um, some plastic wrap, wrap it up, and cook this for 18 minutes. And when all this is done, I will show show it to you. 
Okay, guys, I just took the corn out. This is what it looks like. I have cooked it for um, 19 minutes until it gets all nice and soft and good. And it looks good, and it's not frozen, and it's not. Next, I'm going to take um, some more of this of this seasoning, and I'm going to put it on the corn, and see if I can kind of flip it because it is hot. Ooh, yeah. Let me see if I can get a. And just flip it, flip them all, and then I'm going to season this side. And this stuff is really good because it has butter in it and then it has garlic and sea salt. And there is the corn. The chicken is still cooking and when that gets done, I'll show you that. Get my babies! Hey boys, get my babies! Okay, guys, it is done. It is done, so now we're going to undo it and let the steam come out of it until it, until it, all the steam comes out because it won't allow you to open it until the steam's out. So, here in a minute, I will open it up. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. It's all nice and done. It's, it's steamy. It did for, uh, two times of the 20 minutes and let's get it out guys this is what it looks like and I'm going to take a bite here when it cools off and I'll tell you how I like it okay guys I am going to taste this piece of chicken mmm that's good That is good. I had the major oranges, like the fresh kind and different seasons. That's really good, guys. You gotta taste, try this. So follow my recipe um, from the videos, and you will like it. Bye.